they will say things and you might even hear of people gossiping about you it's fine it's fine because you did not come into this world with anybody and so you should not try to make yourself miserable by doing something you know actually makes you miserable because you don't want people to say things about you because regardless of what you do people will also say things about you Hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and the person and on this channel i make videos about mental health and about how we can all become better versions of ourselves it sounds like a thing please subscribe right now if you haven't already and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up before we get into it i'd like to thank all of you who have been subscribing to my channel and who have been watching my videos and leaving comments i truly 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 appreciate it shout out to you melvin for leaving a comment on my last video i'm going to be talking to you guys about how to find your life's purpose lots of people struggle with finding the right path for them finding what they're meant to do finding their purpose lots of people feel like they're living a purposeless life and they do not want to and they feel like there is more out there for them like they're not doing what they're supposed to do and they do not know what it is so this is my job to give you pointers to guide you along that path i cannot tell you exactly what your purpose is but i can give you pointers now when i talk about purpose i'm talking about a career path something you're supposed to be doing as a career not necessarily a bigger purpose or something that serves a higher purpose that is left for you to figure out about yourself as with most of my videos if not all i'm going to be giving these pointers based on personal experience because yes this is also something that i struggled with a lot in the past and i've been able to cross to the other side and so i'm just going to show you things that if i had known would have helped me get there faster number one if you're thinking of what you're meant to do what your path is your purpose is something that is right for you something that you're going to enjoy doing with your life then i would ask you to look at number one something you enjoy doing already i.e your hobbies what are the things that you enjoy doing you get a pen and a piece of paper open a note app on your phone or whatever and write down all the things that are your hobbies, all the things that you enjoy doing, regardless of whatever it is, regardless of how ridiculous it might be, just write it down. That's the first thing, something you already enjoy doing. It's going to be one of those. Number two, think of something you are already skilled at. So it could be something you went to school for, it could be something you, all, you just have a natural skill for, it could be something, some sort of skill that you learned. And if there's more than one, please write down everything. I mean everything. And number three, I'm going to ask you to write down something that agrees with your values and if you don't know what your values are then write down what you'd like your values to be and then think of the things that agree with your values so now of all the lists pick out the things that are present in all three of those lists it's as simple as that there are some things that will appear in your list of things that you like that will appear in the things of your list of the things you're already good at and it would appear in list of the things that agree with your values now if there are things that if there's nothing that appears in all three of them that's fine that's fine keep thinking and you're going to do this has to be a lot of rumination a lot of reflection and just a lot of work so don't be impatient with yourself and give yourself time now some people might say that you should think of things that you can get paid for and yes you could think of that but sometimes we're usually limited in our thinking and so you might not be able to figure out what you can get paid for. I know that before I never thought I could get paid for some of the things that I get paid for now. Like I never would have thought that dreamed that I could get paid for those things like 10 years ago, right? So we're usually limited in our thinking and besides that, sometimes we just don't know what's out there until we actually go out there and search and actually try things and sometimes things change in fact all the time things change so, so that there are some things you might not be getting paid for people might not be getting paid for today and in the next 10 years they might get paid for that right for example when you were like children nobody was getting paid to play games so don't limit yourself don't think oh this one i'm not going to write it down even though i enjoy it and i'm very good at it because I can't get paid for it, just write it down. Some things that you should keep in mind when you're trying to figure out which one of these things you want to start doing. The one is to be afraid to try new things. 
So the world is like a giant hall and there are different rooms, different doors. And think of those doors as different parts, career parts, if you will. Some people are showing a certain door that they should follow because their family members have already followed those doors and that's what they do in their families. And it works for them. Some people are told because of what some other people have seen that this is the path you should follow. Just open this door and go in and you'll be fine. And they open those doors and they go in and they're miserable all their lives. But they stick with it because they don't want to leave their comfort zone. Now, the third kind of person is the person which I believe you probably are if you're watching this video who might have tried a door, a, two, a second door and they just figure, they just realize that those doors do not work for them and so they refuse to settle for less than happiness and pleasure in what they do with their lives because they realize that they just have this one life to live and if you do not do what actually makes you happy when you find pleasure in then what is the point of it all? And what I would encourage you to do is to make sure you open every single door that seems feasible to you, every single door that you think you might enjoy. Sometimes you might think something will work for you from afar, but until you actually try it for a, a bit, you might not know if you would enjoy it or not. You might not know if it works for you or not. Sometimes you might be skilled at something, and when you actually open that door and try that thing, you might realize that it's just not for you. Sometimes you might think, oh, this is going to be very enjoyable. You enjoy doing certain things, and then when you open that door and you step into that room, I actually try doing that thing, you might realize that there are some other things associated with doing that thing, taking on that thing as a career path that you just do not want to get involved in. And you might either step back or you can decide to refine your area and decide, okay, I'm going to, to do this one thing. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to open doors. Don't be afraid to go through your entire list of things that you enjoy, that you are skilled at, that agree with your values. Don't be afraid to go through every single item on that list and you will find one to two to three to four things. And at some point, I promise you, if you go through, if you use that method and go through your list, at some point, you will realize that, in fact, you are interested in doing it like four different things and your problem will be that you don't know which one to stick with. Another thing I want you to keep in mind is that we want to try to focus or pay attention to things that serve a higher purpose. Now, even if you do not end up doing those things that might serve a higher purpose, I want you to keep it at the back of your mind as something praiseworthy and it is something that enriches people's lives. So because of that, lots of people volunteer, lots of people do charity work, lots of people focus on religious activities, lots of people just do things that help people or that help animals or that help the environment, etc, etc, etc. Whether or not they can get paid for those things, right? So even if you cannot get paid for that thing that serves a higher purpose just try to see if you can incorporate that into your life and see if that can be some sort of side hustle even if you're not going to go into the path that is obvious that other people go into to serve the higher purpose think of how whatever you end up with whatever you end up doing from those lists you can actually use a part of it to serve people to just do good in the world basically think of how you can apply whatever you do to not only give you pleasure not only make you money not only make you happy with your life and your career but also to serve people without necessarily getting any monetary recompense from it now another thing i want you to keep in mind is that i don't want you to limit yourself to say that oh i have to figure out what it is that I want to do with my life this year or next year otherwise I am done or otherwise I have failed at life or otherwise people are going to laugh at me people are you know you know give yourself time people develop at different rates people grow at different times people get to certain milestones at different times and you cannot put a rush on life children do not develop at the same rate Sometimes some children might have started doing certain things at maybe one year old, while some other children would have started doing those same things, those same things at maybe seven months old. Right? It doesn't mean one child is better than the other, or one child is inferior to the other. It just means they're different. And that's where we are as human beings, even as we grow older. Some people might 
have figured out what they want to do with their lives since they were like four years old and it makes them happy still some people thought they wanted to do certain things when they were like five years old and when they actually achieved those things and started doing them they realized it wasn't for them like me i wanted to be a vet doctor when i was like seven years old and my teacher mentioned it in class and i worked for it my entire life and when i started doing it i actually realized that i was miserable doing it and so i had to think about it and realign myself and just switch to a different direction right but i had to figure something out that's the way some people are some people do not even know from the very beginning they are bad at school they don't pay attention they finish and they cannot stick with one thing and it makes them seem flaky and indisciplined and just all over the place but they still have to take the time to figure out what they want to do and so whether you are 10 years old or you're 70 years old at some point just give yourself grace to be able to figure out what your path is people will say things that's another thing i would like you to keep in mind people will say things people might call you different names people might look at you a certain way people might ask you is there those busy body people among your family members among some friends they might you know say you know at this age you should have done this you should have done that and so why aren't you what is wrong with you why are you and even if you start doing certain things they might say what is wrong with you why are you doing this what is wrong with you why would you be doing something like this we don't do stuff like this in our family we don't do stuff like this in this part of the world we don't do this we don't do that they will say some they will say things and you might even hear of people gossiping about you it's fine it's fine because you did not come into this world with anybody and so you should not try to make yourself miserable by doing something you know actually makes you miserable because you don't want people to say things about you because regardless of what you do people will still say things about you the only time people won't say anything about it is if you're dead get used to it embrace it and live your life so do pay attention to what people say about you if you're asking this question and you're watching this video then there is a fair chance that you are in fact true to yourself and you are in fact honest to yourself but i would like you to continue on that path don't lie to yourself and say well i've tried six different things in like six different years and i still haven't figured out what is right for me i still haven't felt it i still haven't started enjoying anything so maybe this one that i'm sticking with even though i'm not feeling it maybe i should just accept it as the thing that i'm supposed to do or maybe i should just maybe i just do not have anything that i'm supposed to do in my life maybe you know, i'm just one of those people destined to move around in this world aimlessly don't do that to yourself don't lose hope and be true to yourself and you will eventually find it out i said do not put a time frame on yourself what i meant was do not put a time frame on finding out the thing in general but when it comes to trying out different things you can put a time frame on that so you can say i do not know if writing is going to be right for me so i'm going to write for a year right i'm going to write for a year and a half i'm going to write for two years and see if it works for me if it doesn't work for me then i'll switch to the next thing on the list and i can say okay i'm going to try this for i don't know six months for a year for this and then of course you can have a whole strategy when it comes to trying things do i want to have a mentor do i want to do i have to learn certain things do i have to hook myself tie my, my myself up to somebody who's already been there and learn how they got there so that i can know how to get there myself etc 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 and i'm going to do this within i don't know 18 months and you can have a whole strategy for getting there but when it comes to trying out things you can give yourself a time limit just know an overall time limit so this is the end of this video i'm going to stop talking now thank you so much for watching this video till the very end if you are in fact still watching if you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe right now and give this video a big thumbs up and you can leave your comments below so i know what you think if you'd like to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, you can reach me by email thank you once again and i'll see you next time